Good day, everybody. Um, we have we are here today. You're watching again another video that I uploaded on YouTube. Okay, um, and I always make it sure that we will have this kind of setup. But para may at least may matunan ka mo, di ba? And um, I hope I hope and I pray that um, hindi magput to waste ang effort ko. Okay, because I'm doing my very best at least to have to let you have um, what you call this um, a great time studying. Hindi magpamubala magambal magkanubun lang sa oras or sa time and sa kwarta niya, for example, let's say, um, nga nag-enroll ka mo and whatsoever because wala mga 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 tuntan, okay? And I hope you appreciate all the efforts that um, the teachers are making, okay? Um, like this one, this one, um, this one is not easy to make, okay? This one, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of of um, kumaga, um things to do kaya para at least ma, ma, ma upload ko sa YouTube ang kung ano man ang gina lecture natin so I hope na umagambal ako sa instruction uh, maintindihan niyo and sundo niyo okay especially those inaba ng class ang mga estudyante ng mga pabaya and ang mga wala ng panalapis sa kung ano man ang ginahambal please um, try to at least uh, change your attitude towards um, this kind of setup, this learning, okay? At may ganit ka sa comfort sa balay nyo. And um, I understand, I understand, I truly understand that some of you don't have um, that, uh, what you call this, um, basta nupi, na connection, okay? That stable connectivity to the internet. I don't, I, I understand that. That's why, I came up with this kind of modality in learning na ay hambal ko, i-record ko na lang. I will find a way for me to record the, the lectures na kinamla ninyo mabalaan and uh, under sa subject na ini. And um, because I understand that if we do a Zoom, as we all know, Zoom is uh, a kind of a setup na uh, dapat ano rin siya on uh, Ano sa lapas do synchronous, okay? Kaya do tanan tanan kamo ga dapat dululungan, right? Um, tanan kamo dapat mo online and everything. And I understand na kung maging humble ako, for example, some of it could never be heard, it could never be understood, uh, and basi hindi niyo maintindihan. So may as well, nag-decide na ako nga i-record na lang, right? So kay para ma... Um, at least ma 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 post niyo, mabalikan niyo ang lesson kung gusto niyo magtuon for the exam or the quiz, mabalikan niyo kung ano man ang in discuss natin using this kind of set absolute true, okay? So even though do mayo magudlay sa inyo on, pero um as long as makatipid ka mo, kaya parin di ka magzoom malakas, di ka mo super mag effort. Kaya I understand na sa YouTube, okay? Um do damo promo ang mga networks in in um, the promo networks in promoting or in giving free access to YouTube, right? Okay, um, for example, with, with Smart lang ha, i, ano ko lang ang Smart, um, it has a, a free 1 gig of YouTube or uh, kung mga isa kasi man na ilo nga ipagod, mga uh, everyday, nga ra, ikaw sa 2 gig of of YouTube, so do basta din naman, okay? So, do, dali pa siya i-access, right? And like kung mag-Facebook ka mo, na doon uh, kinanglan mo, pwede mag-login, okay? Na doon medyo dakupid ang pabis ng data. Okay? I hope that you are going to continue um, listening and watching this uh, YouTube videos na gina-upload ko because I will be using this kind of strategy for the entire semester. Okay? Uh, for the entire, yes, for the entire semester na po, mamakupda na kita. Okay? Um... As a start of our lesson, we are going to have first, before we start our lesson, Gali Anay, for lesson, um, lesson 3, right? It's lesson 3. Before we start lesson 3 of our, um, of our subject in contemporary Philippine arts, we would like first to have, I would like first um, to have a quick review of the uh, previous lesson 
engage natin, okay? It was all about the context of arts, right? It was all about the context of arts. And I told you to follow the instruction that I uploaded or I have mentioned or I have told in the YouTube videos that I have made for this lesson, um, for that lesson, for lesson two. Some of you were able to follow the instruction, okay? Some of you were able to answer the question ng balko, i-comment down yun on Facebook, on the YouTube, okay? So, um, and some of you, nabalaan ko din, that did not watch the YouTube videos because um, ilagin comment kaya is name and sexual only. Okay, wala nila din sa bat ang um, pamangkot, wala na din hambay ko sa video, right? ang art appropriation at ang walang ginambal kung mapamangkot, okay? So, ang ibang sa inyo, we're not able to answer it, but some of you were able to answer it. And then, ang ibang sa inyo, yawa lagi nyo ng comment, okay? I hope that this video, ubrahon ninyo yung best, at least makakomment kayo sa YouTube videos because as what I said, um, if you fail to do the instructions na ginambal ko sa videos na ako na gina-upload sa YouTube, okay? And, Um, that will be the time na maapektuhan in mga grade, in, uh, sa entire mga grade, sa lesson na na, okay? Or in a text sa bilogid na lesson, sa bilog mga, mga grade sa subject na maapektuhan. So, I hope na gapangatigid ka mong maayos sa mga videos kag ang ginapanghambal ko para masunod ninyo ang tanan ko nga ginapanghambal kag gina-instruct, okay? And, um, amura nina, I hope nga malantaw ni ka mga sa video at puso nyo nilantaw because um, and I am not requiring you to watch the video beyond the time, right? Beyond, beyond sa time uh, time schedule natin for CPR, I always make sure that I would give it I would give the link on our time schedule and you can work on, on the activities or the instructions that I have told you um, on the videos Uh, during sa time schedule, okay? And, um, subong na rin, um, subong nga, kung nga, nga lecture, we're gonna have lesson 3, okay? And then, um, I will also present the performance task that you are going to do in this, uh, for this quarter, okay? For this quarter. So, what are we going to do? Um, Pila kami looking yung brahong na performance task. We're going to make three performance tasks. Tatlo kami yung performance task. And ang deadline sa tatlo nga ini must be on or before October 16. Okay? When is the deadline of it? It's on or before October 16. So I hope that you are going to do it. Kung gusto mo magpasay dahil di amang-amang ka na daubra, ubra pa sa weekends or sa gab A, at least um, yun ako lang may available time ka class, ubra ka, wala akong nung naging ubra because these three performance tasks will be um, will be shot or it will be recorded as a video and it will be sent to me. Later on, on this um, on this video or on this lesson, for lesson, uh, there is a lesson 3, ihambal ko ang mga qualifications, ang criteria, kung ano nga mga performance na sa inyo, Brahon. So, stand by because may mga announcements pa rin ako with this video or with this part of the lesson. Okay? Okay. Where are you going to pass? Sabihin nyo ipasa ang inyong mga mga videos for your performance task. You have to pass it on the Google Classroom. Okay? We are going to go, we are going to discuss more about the Google Classroom and how are you able to pass it there um, later, uh, on the later part of this video or, or of this lesson, okay? So, um, first, we are going to um, start our lesson na anay, the lesson 3. At least, makastart na kita and then madiscuss kita dayon. Now, let's go to our lecture. Uh, wait lang. I'm just gonna make it uh, a little smaller. Ang ako ang natura because hindi mo na importante. It's so much. Mas importante ang inyong mabalaan. Okay? 
So, um, and I'm just, I'm also gonna adjust this one. Okay, para makita na po. Wait lang yung class ha, okay. Then, uh, we're good to go na dahil to start. Oh, 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 oh. I closed it. So let's go back. Okay, I think it's here. Okay, so last time, we have tackled about um, this one. Okay, last time, ang ginsan ko sa inyo mga video is all about chapter 1, lesson 2, or, or it's entitled The Context of Art. Now, we're going to go on this one. Okay, so contemporary art forms. Now, just to tell you something lang about this lesson, this new lesson, a contemporary art course. It's just balakas um, an overview of these two lesson. La beginning lesson four and lesson five. Then amulang ini ang um, chapter ang um, lesson one to five ang atong nga pointers for the quarter exam. Okay, so medyo amugot um, lang ni katama ang lesson three. Okay, kay mafocus kita dili. The overview lang niya sa lesson four and lesson five. Kay dili natin sa lesson four and lesson five. I explain it in-depth or very specific din kung ano man ang ipamension din sa my lesson 3. Do you understand? Okay, now we're going to discuss lesson 3. Next meeting, I am going to send again um, contemporary art forms. Uh, I will send lesson 4 next meeting. Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, contemporary art forms. In this, le in this lesson, you will be introduced to the different artworks created in the Philippines during the contemporary arts era. So, ang muna class ang aton nga um, lesson for today. Um, lesson 3 is all about contemporary art forms. It's all about all the type of arts. Okay, magambag ito nga type of arts. Inaula sa class ang mga, mga ginapangubra na art, mga the different types of art that were created in the contemporary arts. That's why we have contemporary art forms. Now, what are you going to do? Diba? We usually, I would usually tell you to answer activate na part. Okay? Then, basaho na ka, choir na part. Ano siya? Then, um, answer na ng apply na part. Right? Ginamba ko sa inyo. Then, answer na ng assess na part. Subong yun, sir. Anong atong na concept? So, anong atong na dalagan, subong, sir? Okay? I will not let you answer activate, okay? I will not. Hindi ko. Hindi ko mag-answer sa activate because I knew that muna ka mong minobra sa inyong iba na subject so I will not let you answer activate na part. Okay? So I hope that at least I was able to let you uh, rest. Okay? I was able to lighten your burden and I was able to um, lighten the works that your other subjects are giving you so I will not let you answer activate na part. Ang acquire ya, of course, basahon nyo na and pamatian nyo kaya mo yun ang ating i-discuss mo. Okay? Then, ang apply na part is your ano naman. Do not answer apply part as well. Again, hindi pag-answeran ng apply na part. Nakuha? Kung makita nyo apply, kung kung, uh, kung hindi nyo makita ng activate kag apply na part sa dali na lesson, sa inyo da Moodle or sa Emerald's da, okay lang na. Hindi na mamangkot sa akon nga ah, wala pa ang sina kaya nga daan, ikuha ko na. Okay? Gin-hide ko na. Did you get me? Pero yun siya yung assess na part, ansiran. Of course, ansiran. Ginaya ang assess na part. Okay? Dapat, ansiran din ang assess na part. 
kay amoy ng atun, kumbaga, the evaluation or kung ano na itong ano from the acquired part. Did you get me? Okay? And um, what are we going to do with the with the assessment part, sir? Okay? So, ansilain nyo na siya and when uh, saan ko po i-open ang quiz? Right after um, right after mga 30 minutes before ang time na po, i-open ko ng assessment part para po hindi na siya maansilan. And if wala pa mo nadulaan ka mo signal, matyag na hindi namin yung internet connection and everything, um, ibilin ko ni ang assessment part sa lesson 3, kag-atulidad ng lesson 2, saan ko ko siya i-close? I-close ko siya by Sunday. Sunday is October. Ay, Sunday is um, basta this Sunday. This Sunday ko siya i-close. So, you will have a lot of time na mapainadlaw ako yung dinaansiran. Okay? Ano oras ko siya i-close sa Sunday o sa Domingo? I-close ko siya by 11 p.m. 11.59 to be exact. After 11.59, kung wala ka pa naka-answer, isala mo na na. Okay? Kaya ginagaan ka na sa lawig na time, assess lang yung timo ang siran. Okay? At kahit ako, pag i-galit lang sa activate na part, kaya apply na part sa lesson 2, kung wala nyo pa natapos, i-close ko na siya by Domingo or sa Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Okay? So, tanan ninyo ka activities mo all around sa subject na ini for lesson 2 and lesson 3, saan ako i-close? O um, sa Domingo or sa Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Did you get me? Okay? Pero kung gusto niya ang sila na yung nalang-assess yan before matapos ang time, pwede din na yung sapon. Wala kaso. Take it anytime. Basta i-close ko siya. Pagka Sunday, kung hindi kayo makakuha, um, <laughs> hindi ko na yung sala. Okay? So I hope na makuha kita mo. Okay? Now, we're going to go directly to the acquire part. Okay, now we're going to discuss acquire part. So what what you can see here is that I am already projecting na lang dito. So wala na ako ba ng PowerPoint class? Kaya para kung ano makita niyo dito sa Moodle niyo kung magtuon ka mo, ano makita niyo dito sa M rooms niyo magtuon ka mo, ano man ang ginapakita ko dito? Okay, para hindi na maglibo ko rin yun. Okay? Next, when we talk about art, it refers to any tangible. Ano mo ka kita tangible class? Kita pala class ang pwede mo siya makuyaktan, pwede mo mabatian, pwede mo mabatsyagan, and everything. So that is what we call tangible. And what is it? It's a tangible production. So it means my production, my product. Okay? It can be a sound, it can be an action. Okay? Um, a product of your of your action. So wag na nasakot ka. A product of your voice. Kaya mo na nga ga Ga, ano ka, ga, a product of your sound gali, amun na nga kanta ka, amun na nga may music as an art, okay? Or kung ga painting, a product of your imagination, a product of your hand, okay? O kung ga pateri ka, a product of your palm, di ba? Ang yung mga palad, ang yung mga palad, yung mga powerful, ka very sagad, magigapika po ano-ano, right? Next, Tangible production of our creative expression. So, art is just all about creativity. Kasi magambay ka ba na, ay, wala gito ko yung ka-creativity, creativity na tao niya. So, hindi ko buro ka obra art. No. Some people, um, they are uh, they are not born with creativity na tayo yun. Okay? Na naturally born sa ila. Some of them develop their arts, okay, or their type of art, um, as time goes by, okay? It takes a process para i-develop din na. So, kasi ang mga ka muna, kasi hindi nyo pa balang subong, pero as time goes by, na balang yung galing nyo, ay, di ba kalendal ko galing si Marilu or si Sandor Ford Lund perform, okay? So, ayan mo na artist, right? Next, it is created because of humans' inclination to creativity and the desire to express oneself, Okay? Because there is a desire to express yourself and to express your and to express what you feel in the most creative way um, na gusto mo, okay? That is how art sometimes is, um, or that is how art is produced, right? If you want to express yourself in, and if you want to express yourself in a creative way, that is where art nagasulod, 
okay? That is where art is developed. It may come in different forms and disciplines, okay? So there are a lot, a lot of forms of, of arts, right? And there are a lot of disciplines of arts. Meron nga speech, speech art, right? The, the, the way you speak, okay? There is an art in the way we use words. There is an art in the way we construct our sentence and the way we communicate with other people, okay? In this lesson, you will have the overview, the overview of the different artworks in contemporary visual and performing arts. So basically, there are only two discussions we are only we are going to have today with the different types of arts, with the different art forms, okay? Duala na sa visual arts and performing arts. Now, let's go in depth in discussing about these two art forms. Um, now, we are going to continue. As what I said, we are going to tackle only two parts of or two contemporary art forms. And, uh, and under these two contemporary art forms, um, damo pa yun sila class, mga branches, or different types. Okay? So the first one that we're going to tackle is the visual arts. Okay? Um, from the term itself, you would really have, you will, you, you need to have already the idea if what, of what it is, right? Um, so my term, uh, uh, so there is the word visual. And if there is the word visual, there is the word vision. Okay? And vision is panulo. Okay? And there are a lot of arts and basi may mindset kung ang art is only, is only um, a scene lang. No. There are a lot of different types of arts again, that can be touched or that can be, um, that can only be heard. Okay? So later on, we'll, we will focus on that more. But first, we're going to talk about visual arts. Let's focus on the keyword visual, right? Which means anything that relates to the sight or vision. So it's anything that relates to the sight or vision. Say nyo nga panalupan, okay? So when we talk about visual arts, we refer to artworks that primarily appeals to our sight. Okay? So class, when you do visual arts, you just have to think, um, parang dumun na for me, if you, hear, if you hear the word visual arts, okay? the term visual arts, parang dumun na lang always, it's because uh, it was, it is called visual arts because it appeals, or naga ano siya class, naga, naga bagay siya mala class, okay? or naga require siya sang, sang sight, sang sense of sight, okay? or in your vision. Visual arts cover various disciplines such as decorative arts, fine arts, and contemporary arts. And we are going to tackle all these uh, different disciplines of visual arts um, on this um, on the continuation of our lesson. But before that, before we continue with the fine arts, okay? Kung tu o di man nagapamati kamo class kag ari kamo di subong sa ako ng video and um gapamati kamo. I will flash um, a groupings, okay? Groupings ni siya class sa um, per section, okay? Per section. Is for example, group 1, sa for example, for the section Rotterdam, okay? So sa Rotterdam, may group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, okay? And hasta na group 4. Then, gin group group po, tanang kamutanan. Ang tanang na group 1, kinanggan ma-comment sa certain na code. Example is this one, okay? Um, example is this one. Okay? Are you ready? Sinayan niya section ng una. Ang una nga malantang, okay? Sa ilang, uh, ilang uh, name. It's the section Shanghai. So section Shanghai, as you can see, um, you have it there. Ang inyong uh, group 1. So, tanan na group 1, naman na sila. Tanan na group 2, naman na sila. And then, group 4 and 5. So, what are you going to do? This is your code sa dalong. Okay? Aring Sunday, 12, 11, Papi Ako, and Sure. Among inyo tanan class nga, nga, nga mga code. Okay? Sa group 1, ang ila, group 2, 12, 11, group 3, Papi Ako, group 4, Sure. So, tanan na, pat na tao sa Shanghai, may corresponding na code. So, ano i-comment nyo? I-comment nyo lang 
Arisak na sa i-comment nyo ho. Example na, your last, uh, your complete name, your section, and then example sina sa inyo nga code sa dalong. Okay? Or asunod is inyo nga code. Example, Bahandi Stephen, grade uh, 12 Shanghai, tapos ang code ko, kaya rin sa una ko, for example, Sunday. Okay? So that's it. So group 2 naman niya, makomment naman, for example, si si Panaligan. Okay? So ibutan niya nga lang niya, hindi ibutan niya ang code niya na 12-11 sa comment section. Okay? So again, class, diin ninyo ibutang ang diin ninyo ibutang ang inyo nga mga um, what you call this? Diin ninyo ibutang ang inyo nga comment. There is a comment sa YouTube sa dialogue. Okay? Put it down kaya para ma-check ma ko kung i-check ko yung managing pamutang nyo. Okay? So now let's go, let's continue. Um, you can actually just pause the video and look at your name each time na may flash ako. Okay? Fine arts. Now we're going to talk about fine arts. What is fine arts? With the term itself, it looks like it is sophisticated, right? It's social. It really appeals to the sight and everything. Okay? It's so fine, right? Fine arts refer to artworks created mainly for its aesthetic or beauty rather than its utility and practicability. So, class in fine arts, kung class, ang mga artworks sa fine arts, ano ang iya class nga, nga ginapalingban or ginatagaan with importance or emphasis ang, ang, ang aesthetic or beauty. Wala siya labot class sa utility or sa practicability. Ina ba na pwede mo magamit? Because, for example, at chair, okay? Um, if, uh, for example, this chair. Abi, for example, may chair ikaw, okay? So, lang tawad ng chair na. That's an art, okay? That's an artwork. Okay? Kung ginagamit sa class because kung kuan gid siya, okay? Kung kung kuan gid siya ang nagagamit siya. Tapos wala i again take into consideration ang design, ang um, whatsoever, ang beauty, ang physical appearance ng chair. It's it's not fine arts, okay? Hindi siya fine arts. Pero for example, gin gin compromise siya class. Gin compromise sa class, do gin mas hatagan importansya ang beauty. Okay, ang aesthetic, sang sa iyang practicability, nga pwede mo sa mga kumpuan, basi pwede sila ako, black chair yung gabalin suli, as long as daw chair tura niya, kapag may mga design-design siya, panamiin siya and everything, okay, tiwala agad, hindi na take into consideration ang practicability, or ang use, ang utility, or ang use ng isa pa, pa bagay, or artwork, pero ginatagaan yung pwetan siya ang iyang, ang iyang aesthetic, or ang beauty niya, okay, as what I said, we will have an in-depth discussion of all these um, disciplines, okay? Of all these disciplines, parin sa fine arts, with the following lesson, okay? So that's the next next lesson. So bu niyo pa hapiyaw lang, okay? Next, common examples of fine arts are drawing, sculpture, print, graphic art, okay, and calligraphy. So um, if you really want to uh, what you call this, if you really want to discover or learn about these things, you have to tune in and really listen for the upcoming next video. Okay? For the upcoming uh, new lesson na i-upload ko na sa YouTube. Okay? And, or you can start na have, uh, you can start studying na uh, this, all of this. Okay? Dira sa inyo nga, miskin na research na kamo. Okay? Now, next, the another type of visual arts is what we call Decorative arts. Now, are this is useful, yeah, because beauty needs function. It still has a beauty, may beauty siya, pero it's still usable. Pwede siya gapon magamit, may importansya, may importansya gapon ang iyang function. Okay? Ito pala kas, ang pwede mo siya magamit anytime, okay? Pwede mo siya magamit, yeah, uh, it has a utility, utility nga factor, Okay? And practicability ng factor that anytime, okay, pwede mo yung magamit yung isa yung artwork to help you with your life. Example na, textile. Anong textile? Ang doon mga tela? Anong tela ba na class? Okay? So, mga mayo, tamo ng tela. Diba? If we do not have textile. So, what are we? Okay? Next, jewelry. Of course. Okay? Area ginagamit niya. Of course, to, to decorate, to design, Furniture, of course, that's still um, arts. 
interior design. What is interior design? Interior design class is a kind of um, it's a kind of a what you call this a design of a, it's a kind of an art, okay? Na it it can be located sa solo sa imo nga balay, okay? Or sa solo sa isa ka space, right? Kung sa buwa, tinan din na interior design, okay? Kung sa solo, that's interior design. That's why it's called interior. For example, sa sala mo, okay? Um, kaya may space ka dira. So you design something sa may sala mo. May butan ka dito kulupuan, may butan ka dito sa mga vase and everything. May butan ka dito do tipa. Okay? Tapos ginadesignan mo, pwede mo magamit. That's still interior design. Or ang mga walk-in closet, right? Ang mga walk-in closet mo. Right? It is not just only for design. Okay? Pero it has a function na ginastore mo in mga mga gamit or bio. Next! Glassware. Anong glassware class? Inabala class ang um, a type of an art, okay, na gagamit sa class ang mga glass. Glass ang class class um, mirrors, what else? Um, the different types of glassware pa din. Mga do mga vase, right? Or, you know, it's not vase. Though, um, what you call this? Basta, dadamo sa class ang type of glassware, mga maso, mga mugs, and everything, okay? Ang uh, pwede mag- emergency, even ang mga window, may mga design still glassware. Earthenware, mga earthenware, amo na sa mga mga banga, mga um, vase, and whatsoever. So, dira na dira class, class na fall. So, later on, we will discuss more about this. Metal crack, okay, ang mga metal na mag design nila, design it, uh, for example, sa mga gate na dira class, that's metal crack, okay? Sometimes, sa mga, 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 ang mga gate, it has the sides, right? Next, remember, at, uh, as art form, both decorative art and fine art stresses an inherent importance in beauty. So, to was in class, they value beauty. While fine art, in effect, is entirely based on its aesthetic, like no brackling at class fine arts because you want to promote beauty. Okay? You want to express yourself or your your artistic side in the most beautiful way. So you try to create uh, fine arts while decorative art is driven by another element which is, as what we have said, utility or ang iya nga, um, purpose. Okay? That's the term, purpose. Next, another type of contemporary art forms is what we call uh, another art of art forms that will fall under visual arts is what we call contemporary art forms. So what do we mean by contemporary art forms? These are contemporary art contemporary arts refer to new and uncommon art forms. Ano ko nas what we said? It's ano ganon contemporary new, di ba contemporary contemporary new? So contemporary arts refer to or art forms refer to the new and uncommon forms na, or art forms that could not be easily categorized between fine arts and decorative arts. Hindi, hindi mo sa class ma easily categorize between sa decorative arts kasi sa fine arts kay basic pa rin sila may beauty and pa rin sila may function. Okay? Example of it, assemblage, land art, conceptual art, collage, installation. We are going to go a deeper to these um, types of uh, contemporary art forms later on sa atang lesson. Okay, so now I will show another video or another um, groupings for the section Hong Kong. Okay, so Hong Kong ang muli nyo nga ano ha, na section, uh, section list or section ninyo nga may food. Wait lang. Okay, it's here. Para uh, pa na ako yung sura. Malit na sabad-sabad. Okay, ayun na. Ang pong. Okay. So, comment down your code um, following my instruction. Because I've said, hindi ako magulit ulit sa mga instruction. Okay? So, that's it. I think Hong Kong, it was a, ano ko na ha, tagoon ko na. Now, let's go back to, let's continue with the performing arts, di ba? Dua ka bilog, visual arts kuno, ang the different art forms, and, and performing arts. Now, we're going to tackle about performing arts. Performing arts refer to forms of art 
which is portrayed when artists use their voices or their body movements. So you perform, you use all your functionalities, you use um, um, what you call this, your, the technicalities of your body, diba? Uh, to express the art that you want to express. So we call it performing arts. These kinds of arts are meant to be performed in front of a live audience, right? So performing arts class, is supposed to be performed in, in front of a live audience. So it has a live audience. Performing my audience, it does get a performance. Performing arts are often categorized into three types. Music, dance, and theater. Now let's go and have some overview of the three types of performing arts. First, music. So music is also what we call universal form of art. Why is it called universal form of art? Because class music can be seen anywhere, right? And even though we cannot understand the lyrics, the language uh, of the music that we're listening to, as long as it appeals to our senses, as long as we feel the vibe, right? We feel the, the beat, we feel the tone of the songs, it catches our attention, right? And sometimes, for example, do kung medyo malumhing katama ang music, sometimes we feel sad. Right? So, base, the message of the song could be sad, even though we cannot understand the language. Right? Just, just by listening to the tone, to the music, to the, to the whatever it is there. Okay, na, sa music, because, hinay siya, malumihin siya, ay, base, masubone, Right? However, if it's, uh, for example, do medyo rock naman siya, rock and roll, do medyo um, metallic siya and everything, ah, base, it could mean, like, um, uh, it could mean happiness, right? And not all naman, di ba? Pero like, it is how you explain why music is a universal form of art. That everybody relates to music, everybody knows music, right? Anywhere you go in the world, anywhere you go, um, anywhere you go, as long as you can sing, as, lo as long as you can hear music, as long as the that certain place kundi ka nakato has music, you'll really... Uh, when we feel uh, the culture, right? Uh, kung ano sila kasi ng mga tao, we'll just be listening to their music, right? It is characterized as the manipulation of silence and sounds. Manipulation of silence at least of sounds class because if wala siya, ginamanipulate, di ba? Um, you can hear the winds chirp, or the birds chirping, the winds howling, gaano sila ga, gatulog ang winds, ang mga then, the class nag, nag umpisa, na there is sound, okay? And then, why we call music as the manipulation of silence and sounds? Because if there is, if there is no, um, if there, if there is no silence, okay? If there is only silence, then there is no music, right? If there is no sound, then there will be no music, okay? That conveys feelings or emotions through elements of rhythm, okay? So, plus, kung may mga sound ka, mapati ang mga sound and everything, and um, abi ang sound, some piece, piece, okay? So, kung may butangan ang sound, class, and the rhythm, pitch, harmony, timber, dynamics, texture, it is now being created as a music, okay? Most common music genres, art music, popular music, traditional music, we're going to discuss all of it next time. Okay? Next, dance. It is characterized as the controlled and deliberated order of body movements, right? So controlled sa class, you have the you have the countings, you have the the timing. So ang mga class ang dance. You have the music and everybody. So order of body movements ang mga dance. Most common dance forms are ballet, belly dance, traditional dance. Contemporary dance, mo modern dance, improvisational dance, hip hop, or break dance. Okay, next, the last one, theater. Okay, and just to tell you, class, I was able to join a theater group when I was in college. Okay, so I am so excited to share my idea or my knowledge in theater. A collaborative form of fine art that uses live performers to present the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place. 
Okay? So this is uh kumbaga, this is this is what we call the, the ultimate art in a class because it combines fine art, it combines dance or performing arts in a dance and music and everything. Okay, it combines all um arts. And it is being performed in front of a live audience. So that is what we call theater, using body movements. That's why it's called um, uh, performing arts, right? Next, different types of theater. So we have absurd, stage show, stage show, Brechtian theater, children's theater, melodrama, dramatic monologue, dula, 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 political theater, musical theater, and realism. We are going to go in depth with all these types of theater and even with the dance, with the music, and everybody, and everything that we have discussed here. We're going to go in depth with it next time, uh, the next, um, for the next video or the next lesson. Okay, dito na dito, I explain very specifically. Okay? So, I think that would only be uh, for the lesson two. Now, I want you to answer the assessment part. I will, as what I said, I will close it by Sunday. Atong sa lesson 2, sa lesson 2, subong na lesson 3, i-close ko siya by Sunday, 11 p.m. 11.59 p.m. So, hindi ka pa kuha, it's your fault. Okay? Now, um, now go to the assessment part and answer, follow the instruction. 